All right, guys. So, um, starting the remote uh, downstream injection box, and what we gotta do with the cover? There it is. So, um, got this little junction box off Amazon, and uh, I'll put everything in the description that I bought. Um, I think this was seventeen dollars, um, and I already drilled my holes. Um, so um, got a U.S. solid quarter inch D and eight um, electric ball valve. So um, I'll be putting this right here, and then hose coming in, hose going out. And then you got this one has five wires. I believe I only need positive and negative, but we will see. Um, and I think this was like $25, $28. And then I got this kit here. Um, don't know what the brand is, if it even has a brand. Yeah, can't say that, but that's a brand. So, um, comes with two little remotes. It's supposed to be like 900 feet. Um, we'll try to test that one day. But, um, yeah, so, little instructions. Um, I watched a lot of videos on it tonight. So, I'm going to have power coming in, negative coming in, and then this is my power going out. So, this will be my red there and then my negative going out which should be my black there um, I'm going to have this wired up to my third switch that is not in use so that switch is already wired up to power and negative um, so I will just be going from the switch to the power positive right here and then my negative I'll be going to, from my battery to my uh, negative right here. Um, so I already have a switch. So um, that's something else you would need if you're doing this. Um, I see people put switches on the top, a little push button switch. Um, you can put a toggle switch somewhere on the side or something, but you gotta have switch power going into the switch and negative going into the switch. And then you have power from the switch to what you're giving it power to so also order these lights they're um i think 20 bucks it came with five of them so i only need one but i might use them another day um <clears throat> and you don't really need this it's just it, it will light up whenever you the theory is when you put turn it on it will open the ball valve and you have bleach coming and then you also have a light on your truck that you can see that way you know it's on um so you don't necessarily need that so on my, what i decided to do on mine is i'm gonna have this box mounted inside right here something like that and so my light I was going to put it on the front here like everybody does, but instead I'm going to have it right here. So, um, doing a little bit different. Um, I thought about putting the box right there on the side of the tool, on the back side of the toolbox, but I figured like it might be in the way. It'd be getting hit a lot, me getting in and out of the truck. And this way, being in here, um, I'm not using this space. My pump's right here, so that space is not going to be used. I'm going to drill a hole there and here for my um, quarter inch lines coming in and going out. Um, and then I'm going to run from my drop stick, that'd be my SH tank. I'm going to run it down here, up into there, and down and around to there. Hopefully it's not too much hose running it that way. I don't know if it makes a difference, we'll see. But that's how I want to do it, so that's how I'm gonna try to do it. So, but first thing first, 
figure out how you want this. Um, I'm gonna have it like this. So I just set it in there and got a Sharpie, marked, and then drilled my holes. Um, and then I'm going to put this guy in here and wire this to that. And then I'm going to drill a hole um, over here for my power coming in to this and my negative coming in to this. So I'm going to have another hole over here. Um, this is going to be inside a my toolbox so it doesn't really matter about having holes. Um, you know, if you ha are going to have it outside somewhere, it needs to be weatherproofed as much as possible. Um, it's got a like a gasket on here and everything, um, so you can put some silicone around your holes. But it's going to be inside my toolbox right now, so um, I'm not really worried about weatherproofing it or nothing. So, but anyways, uh, I'm going to. Get some more stuff done on this and then I'll show you where we're at in a little bit. What's up guys? Um I'll give you a little update here on the box. So um, I decided to put it inside of the toolbox. Um so I just have it mounted right here with some double-sided 3M tape. I got my remote system um tape down and this tape's it's not going nowhere so so i have power running from my extra switch i had right here from there into the positive on the input and i have the negative hooked straight to the battery and then on this side on the positive, I have it running to the um, valve and to the light, and the negative running to the valve and to the light. Um, I put the little light right here, just because I thought it looked good. But whenever I was <clears throat> wiring up the uh, valve, I did not realize I ordered a five wire one. I didn't know there was differences. I just clicked the link and ordered it. Um, but it's five wires, and the a lot of videos I've seen, people just had two wires. Um, so I'm looking at the instructions. It looked like there was multiple ways to set it up. So I just used the the red and black, positive and negative, and hooked them to there, and it smoked and. I took this apart and everything in it's fried. All the wires are frayed. So that's not how you hook up the five wire. So when you're ordering this, make sure you get two wire and it's auto return is how they describe it. Two wire, auto return. Um, and I'll put a link for this exact one in there. So fried this one, that was Friday, had order another one. Um, so it came in yesterday. Um, I set it in here, plugged it up, and it worked. So I still got to tape it down, put my fittings on it, and then run my hoses. So, but let me show you. This is this is pretty simple. So you got to switch somewhere, and you get you give power to the remote system. Okay. Once that has power, you turn this on with the remote, and you can hear it. So now that should be open and, and my little lights up here flashing and then when you go turn it off you just push off but i'm gonna turn it so you can see all right so check it it's open off and it closes so so it's that simple so power going to your remote and grounded and then power leaving your remote going to your valve and ground going to your valve. You don't have to have a light if you don't want to. Um, I thought about not using light, but I did it 
just for the hell of it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty simple. So now I'm going to run my hoses from my SH tank down on here. I got to drill a hole, go up into my uh, box, down out of the box, and I'm gonna run this way around into my uh, downstream injector. So uh, we will see how it all works. Uh, whenever we have another house wash come up and I will let y'all know, but make sure you order two Y auto return and um, that's it. So we'll see y'all later. All right guys, so that's it. So just drill some holes, ran my lines. <clears throat> um, this is my drop stick. I just had it in this bucket so I could feel feel it sucking and watch it. And I got the other one running from out from under here around going into my uh, injector. So I had to go yesterday and get a new injector for my machine. I needed a five to eight gallon minute. And I realized that uh, my injector was different because the one I had was three to five gallons a minute. Um, so I guess it's probably just a bigger hole or something uh, since you're pumping more But um, it worked so um, I just kind of held my finger over this for a little bit to let it kind of suck um, And like prime and once I felt it my finger sticking then I stuck in the water and it started pulling water uh, So that's working so everything is working now on the new machine so um I'm happy with that. So lights off and valve is closed. So I'm excited to try this out one day. Uh, it's it's a big difference as far as the distance um, this thing shoots. So I feel like I probably don't even need the shooter tip no more. Honestly, uh, this is another thing I did the other day that I didn't videotape. So. My pressure washing store sells these little pieces. Uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but it was like five bucks. It's plastic, um, and you just heat it up just a little bit, stick your um, connections in there, and then uh, whatever you're using. On this side, you screw it in and tighten it down, and um, it should work. So the only issue I have is how close these are, but there is wiggle room. Um, so, some I have to get used to. Um, sun's so bright out here today. But, let me see. There's a little room, so I can push this a little bit when I need to uh, turn this. But we'll see how I like it. And uh, I might not wind up needing this as much now. So, might wind up taking it off one day. I don't know. But, meantime, these two are married together now. Um, Cause that should be all I ever need on a house wash is my M5 twist and the Davis shooter tip. So, my right, guys, so everything is uh everything's done. We got the new machine installed, working. Um, my pressure gauge is set. It was pulling way too much pressure. Um, whenever I first um crunk it up and was testing it out. It was bogging the machine down so much that it was killing the machine. So I had to adjust my unloader. I used the red tip to set my pressure to 3,500 PSI. And we'll go from there. So that's the max that I need to run because that is the max of this machine. I think I said like 3,300 PSI. Um, <clears throat> cause this, this pump is 3,500 PSI. So I think I said at 3,300 PSI. Um, but I'm gonna leave my gauge on there for now. And uh, next week or so, I'll, I'll do some testing with it, with surface cleaner and and um, different tips just to see what I'm at and just cause I'm curious. But anyways, that's it guys. So we will see y'all on the next one and uh, put her in action. <laughs>